Hello all. Hope all you are doing good. And today we're talking about one small but pretty useful enhancement with 2022 release wave two. Uh, that's that titled as make entry of variant code required. Now the intention behind this feature is to avoid mistake in data entry while dealing with items that are variants. And your customer or you may or may not use variants, but if you are using variants, it gets a little bit uh, trickier for users to understand what's needed and what's not. So like item variants are great to keep the list of item under control so that you don't create uh, multiple items just because they have different variants. Just to take an example, if, uh, if you're selling, let's say shoe and they come in different colors. You don't want to create a shoe red, shoe blue, shoe green, shoe white. You actually want to create an item shoe and then having different variants based on different colors. So using the item variants helps you to keep uh, your list of item under control, especially if you have so many items, which may, which, you know, part of it are identical, but may vary in one of the attribute that they have. With the 2022 release wave two, uh, Microsoft have uh, given a way that if your customer or if you are using variant, then you can just for a visual notification of the user who will be keying in the information in system, have the variant mandatory visible on the screen. So let's have a look on it. So what happens is when you go into, let's say, into the center, let's log in there and let's say when you try to create a sales order let's try that when you are here when you try to create a new sales order and you key in the customer name that you have that is done and here if you try to let's say select the item which is sp cm uh, one, two, zero, six. Okay. The system shows you the other mandatory field, as you can see with the start sign that you need this value to be entered and all. But by default, system does not show you the variant code, which gets a trickier in certain situation. And even if uh, it has variants, the, the user is not getting any visual clue to make sure that he or she need to enter uh, the, the variant code or not. So for that, what Microsoft have done is on the inventory setup, there's a new check added called variant mandatory if exists. So if the item has the uh, variant exists, it'll start showing that it's mandatory as a visual clue to the user when he or she is trying to key in that order. Now, once you enable this, you go back here, you choose your order number that we had, and because the variant is not visible, you can't see it, but let's add it with the personalization. Let's quickly personalize this screen. This part of the page, try to add the field, and let's do a variant code. Let's add it here. Let's save it. It's not added based on if a customer uses it or not, so we might not, you might not agree that this got added from that. So let's go back to inventory setup, or even if, if it is enabled on the inventory setup. You can still define it based on item. You can say, okay, for these items, I would like to see it, or for these items, I would not like to see it. So going into the item card, you can search for, okay, the number, SE hyphen SCM 1006. This is the item. Now at the item level, I can also choose that just for this item do I want. By default, it'll take what is coming uh, from the setup as a, as a 
as it is set up on the inventory setup. But you can say, I don't want to see the variant mandatory for this particular item. If you do that, and then you go back to your health order, it will not tell user that the variant is mandatory, even if it's there. So you can either define it at the item level, saying, okay, uh, I don't want to see it for this item, or for these five different items based on changing the setting on the item. Otherwise, it'll take this global setting, which is defined at the inventory page, inventory setup page. So let's switch it back. And let's say use the default, whatever is set up on the inventory setup. Let's come back and you'll see that there is a visual clue for the user to choose the variant so that they don't skip the info which is mandatory uh, for posting the sales order in this case. So what we learned, the new feature that's added, it actually starts from the inventory posting setup where you define variant mandatory if exists. There's a boolean. That by default applies that setting to each and every item, but you can turn that off per item or multiple items if you need, but you take default, the three options are default, where it take whatever is set up on the inventory setup. No, which means user will not, uh, there will not be a visual clue for users to have variant mandatory. And yes means uh, it'll show you and it'll uh, block you from posting the transaction. These settings don't affect items that they that does not have variants. So if only and if you have variants, then and only then it'll start showing you those. It doesn't impact it. If this capability is on for items with variant, user will see the field mandatory icon on the documents as we saw on the sales and purchase documents as it is. So hope if your customers are using the variant code feature, you'll be able to utilize this feature that's added in 2022 release wave two. I'll see you in the next video. Do share the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And this is Saurabh Dhani signing off. See you in the next video. Thank you.